What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Bring you episode 2 of Durarara X2 show. All right, let's get right into the live reaction. All right, here we go. Was that the merman? Who that? Wait. Oh, there's she's. Yeah. Whether well, they're at a necessity or by chance, they meet in the city. What are they doing? Oh, he going in? Oh, he stole his briefcase. And they are attacking each other. What is going on here? Oh, there goes that money. And then she's will steps there we go oh. go she's will <laughs> such a badass she's will that's enough thieves what, but what were they doing there like what a, was that the merman mask or was that just a different mask because Let's just say that that guy that had the mask on could be the murderer as well, but then who was the other guy? Like, I don't know. Harmony is the greatest of virtue. Is that, that's Kida, isn't it? Sonahara? And there's Mikado. <laughs> There's Isaiah. Isaiah's face, like, it's probably just the animation, really, but like, compared to this season. And then the first season, I think the first season, Isaiah's face looked a lot more, you know, menacing. And in this season, it's kind of like more calm and collected. He doesn't seem, you know, I, I don't know. There's just something about the first series of the animation that kind of stood out to me, like I said before. Sato. Check this like a, Oh yeah that yeah with the whole money issue Selty lost her money that's right Hi, Reveal the identity of the headless horseman and or rider and tell Max Max Sanshell president of Jackal Lantern Japan Oh, to launch the Headless Rider's career in show business. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Selty has technically become like a celebrity now. Everybody's after her. Oh, dude, a Selty fan? Where can I get one of those? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let me know. Really, oh, I'll collect that on the spot, like that. And I could fan myself during my live reactions because, you know, it gets kind of hot, you know? <laughs> What? <laughs> Dang, look at that animation with Selty going in. Totally Oh, that's right. There was one of those. She can form those block uh, balls. She's hiding. If you promote me so audaciously. <laughs> oh my god, Shenra. <laughs> she sounds different too. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, she sounded kind of different there. 
Ah, depressed about the million yet, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, worked hard for that. We'll find its way back to you. You know, Salty is still looking for her head. Okay, I don't think the head's gonna find her way back to her. You know? Okay, okay, Salty. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> he looks so weird in that ball. You're just gonna leave him in in that ball right there. Trust is crucial when you're a tramp. She just left him in there. I gotta get out now, Shinra. This shadow cocoon. I can't seem to rip it. <laughs> and that's how I ended up like this. Dude, Shinra just broke the fourth wall. Because <laughs> I was like, how the hell did you get in there? I like how that just explained it, everything. I like how that explained it. <laughs> An eccentric new student. Orihara Mayu. Manga and porn? When it comes to love and sex drive. <laughs> wow, she's very open. And here's a new student. Kuri. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we're getting introduced to the twins. And why why are you dressed like that in class compared to everybody else? And here's a new student who seems to have the package. Sonohara Mikado. And once again, okay. Koronuma. That's right, I'm first here, Koronuma Oba. Okay. Oh, he knows! He knows from where he stood being one of the founders of Dollars. Never mind, I'm <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of awkward. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. He saw you. <laughs> There's no such thing in the doll. He's trying to cover it up. <laughs> This guy has something up his sleeve. He is keeping something from Mikado. He's like investigating the Dollars gang. He might have his own gang. And he's spying on the Dollars. Trying to get close to the leader to find out as much information as possible, maybe. These guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. <laughs> I think her name is Erica. I I'm trying to remember. I think it's Erica. I know the other guy's name is Walker. 
ってから臨機応変に決めるのがいいんじゃないかないいんですか別にいいよ私は夕方暇だし<笑>じゃあ行き袋案内決定を祝して Let's sing an anime song do it do it That'll be magical girl numbers from the 90s on. Also, like Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Oh my god, they're actually doing it. And Sonohara is going to the bathroom, maybe? Or somewhere? Who that? Dang, he's tall. Ooh, Sonohara. Her eyes went like. My spidey sense is tingling. Oh, there's Shinra's father. I'll be just as creeped out as you are, Sonohara. A guy in a gas mask? I mean, he, all he has to do is just release. But never let me kill any Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, animators! As for the other question, please refer to this. Special Advisor Kishitani. Oh, who's that? Is that? That's the bad guy. Please forgive me, sir. Dude, he looks scared. Wait, 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 wait. What? He was the guy in the beginning of the episode, wasn't he? The eyes are the exact same, and he had the same color of hair. That was one of the so-called thieves in the beginning. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I'm the king I serve. <laughs> You don't like your own sisters? Hmm. Despite being twins, they're trying to become two people with totally different personalities. Huh. Really? Of course, the Mary is a cheerful chat boss who likes, who looks like a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> so they okay so their personalities are pretty twisted as well yeah, it, sometimes it's not best to stand out. <laughs> Just sorry. Poor them. <laughs> oh well. Alrighty, Zaya. Oh! We got people writing on your desk already. She's trying to find out which one. Oh, she's jumping! She's going in! Oh! Oh! Ooh! Whoa! She, those are tax. She's gonna put tax in her. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, she's the one. Go get her. Oh. You would have been destroyed. But I really want to be your friend now. No, no you don't. No you don't. These girls are dangerous. Especially for the fact that they are Isaiah's sisters. <laughs> he got you to back. He, <laughs> he backed you up. Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> あんたさ、マジで空気読めよ。ああいう時普通チクる。正義の味方取りかよ。いや、正義感でやってるんだったら落書きしてたし、止めるだろ。何を不思議なこと言ってるのじゃあ、なんであそこでチクんだよ。だ
A hospital is kind of out of the question. Dang, she's woke. You got. You just destroyed these guys. So we'll do whatever you say. There's a susur run by a Russian. Simon! Simon! <laughs> Look at Shinra! You, I, It ain't Selty, man, but it's someone else. Oh! Oh, this guy! He was in... He was in one of the extra episodes. I think it was episode 25. Alright, yeah. Alright, there we go. Alright. I, I, I would play that ending right there because the ending is actually really good in the second season of Duarara. But, uh, okay. So, let's sum up everything that happened in this episode and let's get to the review of Duarara. Okay, so I'm really enjoying what I have seen in only these first two episodes of the second season of Durarara. So I'm not really going to go too much onto what happened because there was actually a lot of stuff that happened throughout this episode. But I'm just going to go briefly on the uh, important stuff that happened. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so in the beginning of this episode, we see that there is apparently two people fighting in a park where Shizuo and Tom are just, you know, chillaxing, do, minding their own business, and we see these two people uh, fighting, apparently, and one of them takes a briefcase filled with money. Now, what they're fighting about, don't really know. But one of them looks like they had a merman mask. I don't know if maybe it was a merman mask, but, you know, it was something. Some some weird monster mask. So, uh, you know, if we go back to the first episode of the second season of Durarara, we see that apparently there is a murder going around in the city of... Uh, murderer around in the city of Ikebukuro committing murders. And he is nicknamed as Hollywood and committing these murders with different appearances. You know, wearing different suits, um, different masks and whatnot. So... I kind of want to lean towards maybe that maybe that guy is the murder, but we don't have much clarification on that. So, with the other guy, on the other hand, he apparently is very tall, he is in a trench coat, and he has blonde hair, and we actually see Sotohara runs into him in the later parts of the episode, and apparently she says that he is very dangerous. So... What this guy is capable of, I am not sure yet because, as I said before, we've only got gotten a brief stuff into these new characters, brief uh, information into these new characters. The second thing that I want to go over was that apparently we get introduced to another new character who actually goes to the same school as Mikoto, and when he talks to Mikoto, he says that, oh, you must be a member of the Dollars, right? And he basically tells Mikoto that I saw you... Um, during that event that happened in episode 12 of the first season of Dorado. I'm not going to get into that, but um, he basically said that he saw him during that event and apparently that he is a member of the Dollars as well. But if it's anything that I've learned from the first season of Dorado is that really you cannot trust anybody. And this character right here, he gives me a bad vibe. Like, I, I don't know, just the way he looks at Mikoro, it doesn't really see like, uh, like he is all cracked up what, uh, if he is actually good, you know, I don't really see that in him. You know, he seems more suspicious and mysterious to me, so I'm keeping my eye on this character. But dang, man, oh, be a player! At the end of this episode, we see that apparently the twins stumble across Celti's money. Now, what exactly they are going to do with that money, you know, they're probably just going to end up spending it or something, or maybe they might end up doing something different with the money, but they are simply not just going to give it back to Celti. I mean, finders keepers, right? <laughs> but uh, seriously, just due to how eccentric and wild these characters are, characters are i really don't know what exactly they are going to do now what i thought was really interesting about this episode was that apparently we find out that isaiah actually really doesn't like his sisters just because of their eccentric personalities and the way they present themselves in society now when it comes to isaiah like he loves humans and and if when it comes to she's woe I, like, it's very unclear whether he actually likes Shizuo or not. Uh, he, he mainly sees him as a rival, but Shizuo, on the other hand, he despises Izaya. So, it's kind of 
f funny seeing how uh, this person who has a twisted sense of love for humans to actually despise his own relatives. But if you want to get into the whole ordeal, whether hate is love and love is hate, then yeah, that can probably explain it as well. But uh, yeah, that's just something that I thought was quite interesting throughout this episode that I wanted to go over. But uh, I think I actually finished explaining all the important aspects of what happened throughout this episode. Really, the other aspects of this episode were just like comedy gold, where uh, we see Shinra and Selty, you know, they, they have a conversation going around, and Selty's just depressed, and Shinra is just trying to, you know, soothe her in a way, and it doesn't end up working out, <laughs> and he gets engulfed in her shadow with only his head showing, and that was just funny to look at because he just looks so weird and it's explained throughout later on the episode how that's uh, how he actually got in that which I thought was pretty funny as well but um yeah so I think that about does it so yeah that about does it for this live reaction guys if you like the video please give it a like and let me know in the comments down below on what you thought about the episode and the live reaction in general and what else you might want to see on this channel and if you want to see more from me please click the red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for the video guys and I'll catch you in the next episode. Catch you guys next time.